Hi. In this video, we will learn how to get any stock price from Yahoo Finance using the ticker symbol for the stock. We can get the stock price for any stock exchange. You just need to get the correct ticker symbol for the stock of your interest and replace it in the code. Once we get the data we will create a candle chart which conveys the open and close price of the stock, as well as the high and low price attained by the stock on any given day. Let us open a new script in R Studio. We would be using the QuantMod package in our example. This package helps us to get the stock data and plot the chart. Run the install.packages command to install this package. Note that we have commented the install.packages in our example, as we already have it installed. Now call the package by giving the library command. In order to suppress the warnings from the QuantMod package, set the options as shown. We want to ensure that we can run the same code for any stock which we want. So, instead of hard coding the name and the dates, we will store them in the variables. This makes our code reusable for any stock, and we can simply change the variables and plot the chart for any stock which we want. We will use the get symbols command from the QuantMod package. In this command we define the shares ticker code. We want to ensure that we can run the same script for any stock which we want by simply changing the ticker code and the date range. So instead of hard coding the name and the dates, we will store them in the variables. In the get symbols command, we will define a share ticker code. From date and to date. Set warnings equals false. Set auto dot assign equals false. The auto dot assign, if set to true, will create a time series object automatically. The name of the object will be the same as the ticker code. In our example, we want the data to be stored in our own defined object DF. So we set it to false. Now, we will run the chart series command from QuantMod, which will plot a nice candle chart. This candle chart will display the high, low, open and close prices of the stock for each day. Finally run the command PL, which will plot it on screen. You can also plot the charts using ggplot which we have covered in another video. Now, highlight all the code and click on run button. Here is a candle chart of a stock. You can see that the name of the stock has been printed at the top of our chart. You can now simply change the ticker code of your stock in the variable my share, and the script will download and create the chart with the appropriate heading and the date range. Here is a full screen image of our candle chart. Thanks for watching this video. Please support us by subscribing to our channel. We kindly request you to like this video by clicking on the like button.